Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. This is this one is impromptu, you guys. I just woke up and I did a meditation as I often do in the morning. Had a rough day, evening, night. This morning when I woke after the meditation, I put on some oil. I've been doing that. It's become a practice for me. It's become one of the tools I use for healing. I use for connection. I use to honor and love myself. I use oil. And one of the oils, I have multiple ones. I have about 12 of them here beside me. But one in particular, it is called courage. And it smells a little kind of burnt, right? It smells a little burnt, you know, like a campfire wood, that kind of smell, which I, I don't have a problem with. But some people don't like that so much, you know, smoky, kind of smells smoky. And the practice is to put courage oil on your feet to ground and root you as you walk through life in the back of the knees and the base of the, the tailbone. For me, the feet and the back of the knees, it's okay. And I've been doing this for about a month. But today, when I woke up and I, I had choices of multiple oils, and that's the one I grabbed. And I realized after, because of the dimly lit room, I didn't see which one it was. I smelled it. I just reached over, grabbed it, opened it, smelled it. It was courage oil. I thought, how appropriate. <laughs> and so I... Um, I... I actually used a lot of it. I don't use that much, usually just a little dab because it is a very strong scent. But I poured it onto my hands and I rubbed it onto my feet and I massaged my feet. I pulled up my my jammy joggers and out just above my knees and I rubbed that courage oil up and down the back of my legs and the front of my legs, my shins, my calves. And I remembered I had some lotion in my drawer, and so I grabbed that and I just rubbed my legs. And then I, um, and then I uh, felt it felt so good. And then I added at the end, there was one more oil I apparently needed today, which was the priestess oil, which is a divine feminine leadership oil. It's an oil of confidence, an oil of centeredness. And for me, it was connected to my divine mother energy as a mom. Because that's why yesterday was tough in the evening, especially. If you've watched my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel, you know from my blogs that my family's been going through some things since last, late last fall. My big three kids, my oldest three kids, their dad and I were married for about 10 years and um, obviously divorced, and now I have the husband I have now. Um, But he had a scare a couple of years ago with cancer, pancreatic cancer. He was cancer-free for two years, and it came back a rather large tumor, and um, he had massive surgery in December of last year, 2021. Had complications in January where he literally almost died right then and there. And last night he and I had a conversation. We talked about 45 minutes, actually, about all sorts of things about the kids, about what he needs, about what the prognosis is right now. We literally talked about how long he's going to have left. And this morning when I woke up, realizing that only one of those big three kids knows what's going on because he was at his house yesterday. He's a high school senior. 
The other two are away, one at college, one off living her life about two hours away and three hours away. They're going to come home this weekend, but we have to try to get my oldest home this weekend. And it's going to be her big, uh, she's got a big, huge golden birthday coming up. And so that's a big deal, but uh, she doesn't usually come home at all. And it's really hard to try to get her home, especially to hang out at her dad's house. She's not a real big fan of that, doing that. But now I'm part of the trying to get them home so he can talk to them in person, which really sucks for me, right? Because I can't tell them what's going on between now, Tuesday when I found out, and uh, the weekend. Great. Um, so I am, I am, um, the courage oil was just perfect this morning. And I was thinking, hey, Sunday morning coffee, courage is not always about, oh, I got to be brave. I got to be strong. Sometimes courage is just about standing up. (laughs) Sometimes literally getting out of bed, that is a very courageous act. That is so brave, getting up and out of bed and facing the day because I'm like, what, this day now? What's going to happen this day? (laughs) It's like, wow. I know life layers on like a triple-decker sandwich because... It's not just this that's happening to our family right now. There's a lot of really serious, deep, and intense things, just like your family, right? Just like you and your life. A lot. It's deep, transformative change that's occurring right now. It's massive, major shift. These are not just little things like, oh, I think I'm going to grow my nails out. This is not that. This isn't, oh, I think I'm going to change my style and wear different clothes. Nope, this is not that. This is not... On the surface level, this is, there's nothing surface about anything that's going on right now. And we all need that courage. But it's not to fight a battle. It's simply to stand up, to show up, to stand up to the day. I literally have not gotten out of bed to put my feet on the floor. I'm just sitting up talking to y'all. It's not because I can't. It's because I'm taking my time to love myself into existence today. And I want you to take the time to love yourself into existence. And I want you to know that that is exactly what courage means. Loving yourself. When you're broken, when you feel like crap, when you're not ready. That's what courage is. Just standing up, putting your feet on the floor. Getting out of bed in the morning. That's what courage is. That is a courageous act. And that courage, that kind of courage, that's self-love. That is self-love. That is self-love. So I hope this Sunday morning coffee with Bridget isn't too too much of a downer for you. <laughs> I know I know it's hard to know how much to share with others, especially like for me and my platforms and things, what's going on. By the time you listen to this, of course, my children, my big three kids. I have four children, but three with um, the person who now has pancreatic cancer again. And uh, it's not it's not good, you guys, you know. He and I, when we spoke on the phone, we have a shared trauma. When we got married, his dad was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer right before we got married. And then we didn't know how bad it really was. And he died a few months after died about uh, six months after we got married. And it really devastated him. And his dad was young, 47, 46 or 47. Yeah, 47. And he himself just passed that milestone. And he told me on the phone, I can remember being the same age my dad was when he died this past year, he said. And I thought, wow, I'm lucky, you know. <clears throat> I 
for all the time he has, you know, whatever that is now. And focusing on the positive, of course, but... Oh. And then a few years after that, my dad died. My dad got sick with the terminal illness of AIDS, and he died about three years after that. So... When I was married to him, he and I both experienced the death of our fathers and from illness where we watched them deteriorate. Some of you will relate because you've dealt with cancer or you've dealt with some other illnesses that you've watched your loved ones, family members, friends go through. And it's hard, you know, it's hard. Because you're part of that energy. You not, might not be the person that's directly experiencing the hardship of the physical body pain, but the emotional body pain is very physical for those of us who are watching or who are part of the experience, right? It's a shared, it's a shared suffering, for sure. He and I talked about that just a little bit, just briefly about our experiences, how we know we went through that together and now the kids are going to go through that. And we're going to be able to help them in a unique, perspective way, you know. It's going to take courage to do that, you guys. And I'm going to need you, all of you on Above Life Channel, on Fairy Grasshopper, on Bridget Inspired. I need to be able to work, to show up, to do the things that God gave me the opportunity to do in this lifetime because that is me fulfilling life on purpose and living life to the fullest. And I, sh I purely intend to do that. And I need you to do it. We need to create some great, inspiring things like this podcast, like great channeling videos. Maybe we need to do some classes and some small groups. Maybe you and I need to have private session. There are so many options in ways that we can connect and that I can express life fully lived. So courage. Yeah, it isn't just about being a brave warrior. It's about life and having the courage to actually live, to live it, and just live it. This is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening to this very sincere and deeply personal Sunday morning coffee podcast here on Above Life Channel. I do appreciate you in my life as I live it, just live it on purpose. Thanks for listening.